Today I will try to speak about the the band that from uh, from this band started everything, and I'm speaking about Black Sabbath. And I'm when I say started anything and everything, I'm speaking about the whole story of heavy metal music. Of course, doom metal, stoner, desert rock, heavy rock, grunge, every everything of this uh, of these categories, they are very influenced by by Black Sabbath. But not only, but not only. The whole the whole uh, hard rock and metal scene, they are influenced by Black Sabbath. Of course. We have also influences from the Purple and from Led Zeppelin and from Judas Priest afterwards and from other bands, but Black Sabbath they are in their place. Let's also say that in, in, in the year that the Black Sabbath started in the in the in the in the nine in the seventies, in these years also was another also band from United States. Uh, I'm speaking Black Sabbath they are from uh, United Kingdom, but uh, in these years also was another band of occult rock with blues um, influences by the name Coven from the United States and also they had uh, a song by the name Black Sabbath and always this is the question who start first but Black Sabbath they are what they are today okay Black Sabbath until uh, their last album in uh, 2013 they they have 20 albums okay 20 albums so it's very difficult to to rank them and also they have uh, three different periods the three different periods periods we have the period of ozzy osborne we have the period of ronnie james dio and we have the period of tony martin as their singers also we have an album with um glenn hugs as a singer, Seven Star, and another al album, Born Again, with uh, Ian Gillan from Deep Purple as a singer. So we have uh, five singers for uh, 20 albums. So let's to be fair, and it was difficult to me to make uh, a list of worst to best, and let's, let's say, not exactly worst to best, I, maybe it's better to say less beloved to more beloved okay so for me first of all i will try to make um, to rank the albums by by the periods and afterwards to put all the 20 albums together so if we are making uh, if we are trying to rank the albums of the period of, of ozzy the first period the first classical period okay and of course, we many of us we know uh, what they are saying. Be calm and listen to the first six uh, classical Black Sabbath albums. Okay, so in the f uh, the first period of Ozzy, with Ozzy, they have uh, nine albums. So in the ninth place for me comes their last album with Ozzy for many years, and I'm speaking the, about the album. Never say die. In the eighth place comes the album Technical Ecstasy. In the seventh place, and I'm speaking about the period of Ozzy Osbourne, okay? In the seventh place for me comes their, their last album of 2013. I'm speaking about the album 13, a very good album. And this is the last Black Sabbath album. Now, in the sixth place, for me comes the album Volume 4. There are many people that prefer this album even more, but my personal taste is this album comes in this place. In the fifth place, for me comes the sixth album Sabodas. For me, it's a little bit more heavier than their other uh, fifth, uh, than the other five uh, first albums of them. 
Now, in the fourth place, for me comes the album Master of Reality. For me, also, Children of the Grave is one of their best songs of them. In the third place comes the album Paranoid. Here we have so many classical songs of Black Sabbath as War Pigs, Paranoid, Planet Caravan, Iron Man, Electric Funeral, Hand of Doom. In the second place, for me, comes their debut album, and I'm speaking about the album Black Sabbath. Also, to understand the influence of this album to the whole scene, to the whole history of metal and of the hard rock, also Green Day, in their uh, famous album Doogie, in the cover of the album, they have inside uh, a picture of this woman from the first Black Sabbath album. And of course, in the first place, the first place for me of the Aussie period, I'm putting this album Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, with songs as Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, The Natural Acrobat, Sabracadabra, Killing Yourself to Live, Looking for Today, Spiral Architect, a very good album. Now, if we are coming now to speak about the Ronnie James Dio period. So, for four, four albums we have with uh, Ronnie James Dio, three albums as Black Sabbath and one album as Heaven and Hell, because the whole problems with Ozzy in these years. So, for me, in the fourth place, I will put the album Dehumanizer. Also, a good album, but it's a very underrated. In, connect with, uh, in connection with the other albums. In the third th place, third place I will put the album, the last album with Dio, and also this was the last album of Dio in his life. And I'm speaking about the album The, Div the Devil You Know. And, then, and uh, this album, of course, is Black Sabbath, but uh, they, they had the name Heaven and Hell, and not Black Sabbath, because of the problems that we speak, we spoke about. In the second place, with Dio, I will speak, and I will uh, hear from me comes the album Mob Rules. Many people also uh, they see this album as the con as the the continuous of Heaven and Hell. Also, in, in these years, there was a, a war, let's say, between uh, the fans uh, of Ozzy and the fans of Dio. About this album, there was a, a conspiration about here that I read. They said that some people, they, they saw, let's say, that is written Ozzy, okay, or something like Kill Ozzy, but everything here is a, a conspiration. And the first album for me of the Dio period, of course, for me is Heaven and Hell. Of course, of course. One of the best albums of the whole metal story in general. And now when we're coming to speak about uh, the Tony Martin period. Five albums they, we, we have of Black Sabbath with Tony Martin as a singer. For me, in the fifth place comes this album, Forbidden. And this album, unfortunately, is, uh, let's say, the worst album of Black Sabbath. Unfortunately, also, yeah, there are some good songs here as the ballad, uh, I Won't Cry For You. But uh, the whole touch of Ice T and Ernie C from Body Count in this album, and uh, don't, uh, don't understand me not well. I'm a fan of Body Count and of. Uh, I stint Ernie in body gown. But here, this is not exactly the sound of Black Sabbath. In the fourth place, for me, comes the album Cross Purposes of the, of the period of Martin. In the third place, for me, comes their first album when uh, Tony Martin 
came to the to, uh, to Black Sabbath and them speaking about the album The Eternal Idol. The second place for me of the Martin period is uh, the album Headless Cross, a very good album also. In the first place of Martin period comes of course the album Tear. And also we have two other albums. We have the album uh, with Glenn Hughes as a singer, Seventh Star. But uh, this album it, it has it was to be a personal album of Tony Iommi, but at last uh, uh, they put it as a Black Sabbath album. For this reason, it's written Black Sabbath featuring Tony Iommi. And uh, the last album that we speak about is the album Born Again. When here Ian Gillan from Deep Purple, he is the singer, and there are some people that love uh, this album, some people that hate this album because it's a, a complication between Black Sabbath sound and Deep, Deep Purple sound. Now, when we are coming uh, to speak about uh, all the albums all together, okay, the 20 albums. From the worst, let's say, to the best. Okay. For me, in the last place, in uh, uh, the number 20, I will put, of course, the album Forbidden as their, let's say, worst album. As I said before. In the nine, in 19th place, I will put the, the album Cross Purposes. In the 18th, 18th place, for me, comes the album Seventh Star. In the 17th place comes the album Born Again. I like this album a lot, but in, when uh, I put it, all the albums together, it comes in this place. Now, in the 16th place, for me, comes the album Never Say Die. In the 15th place, Technical Ecstasy. In the 14th place, for me, comes the album The Eternal Idol. In the 13th place, comes the album Dehumanizer, also with the most heavy metal uh, cover of Black Sabbath ever. In the 12th place, for me, comes their last album, the album 13. In the 11th place, for me, comes the album Volume 4. In the 10th place, for me, comes the album The Devil You Know, and I'm speaking about the album that uh, it was uh, by, not as Black Sabbath, but as uh, Himmel and Rell. In the, in the ninth place, for me, comes the album Headless Cross. Now, between the seventh day, uh, between the eighth and the seventh place, it's a little bit very, they are very very close. So let's say in the eighth place, I will put the album Mob Rules. In the seventh place, I will put the album Tear. In the sixth place, for me, comes the album Sabodas. In the fifth place, Master of Reality. 
Fourth Place, Paranoid, del second album. Third Place, Black Sabbath, their debut album. Second Place, the masterpiece by the name Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. And of course, in the first place, for me, the masterpiece of the master, one of the most important masterpieces in all metal history, not only in the history of Black Sabbath. And of course, I'm speaking about Heaven and Hell. So, from Israel and from Jerusalem, and one other, also one last word. This T-shirt, Speed Rass, is from one of the best Speed Rass bands from Greece, from Athens. So, from Jerusalem, from Israel, stay metal and stay heavy. <laughs>